Hi everyone, I'm Jared. I'm one of the product managers here at Field Pulse, and today we're gonna to walk you through price tiers. Price tiers are a great way to add membership discounts, wholesale markup, or really any discount or markup specific to each individual customer within Field Pulse. Let's get into it. To set up price tiers, head to company settings and to our features and plugins page. From here, you can enable price tiers for each one of your customers. I've already enabled it, but this button would be green for you. So once you enable, you can click settings, and from here, you can add a new pricing tier. Pricing tiers can either be discounts or markups that are applied to customers individually. We'll do a couple examples here where I name a price tier and walk through the two different pricing adjustment types that we offer. For this one, I'll just call it sample discount. We offer flat markup or discount price adjustments or item price range adjustments. For the first one, it's a simple flat markup or discount. For instance, if I want to offer a 10% discount for a customer who's on the sample discount pricing tier, I would simply type in the value that I want. So in this instance, sample discount applies a 10% discount for all products based on the unit price for a product. If I wanted, I could adjust this to a markup. So a use case for this might be if you have a wholesale recommendation from your supplier or an MSRP list price markup that you've been recommended to by your supplier or manufacturer. So in this case, I might say, I actually want to mark up for this price tier 10% on the unit cost, so that way I can hit a specific margin. I can go ahead and save that price tier here, and you can add as many as you want or as few as you want. Let me walk through another scenario. So in this instance, I'll call it sample two, and rather than a flat markup or a discount, what we're actually gonna to wanna to do is based on the item price range. So imagine you order products in bulk and there's a certain price margin that you wanna to offer to your customers, and you have products in between $0 and $100, or $100 to $1,000, and so on and so forth. You might want discount breaks if you order those in bulk, or to reward your customers for spending a lot of money. Let's walk through an example. So in this case, I've set it to item price range, and I wanna offer a discount based on the unit price. So what I could say here is for products between $0 and $100, I wanna offer a 5% discount. And I can add an additional range, so I could say, okay, well, products in between $100 and one cent, all the way up to products of $1,000 in value, I'm actually gonna offer a 8% discount. You can add as many price range tiers as you like or as few as you like. I'll go ahead and save one of these and show you what it looks like to apply one of these discounts or markups to a customer profile. For our example, I will do the sample discount and apply this to one of our customers. Each customer can only have one price tier applied to them. This use case, I'll go to John Doe, and you can see here, price tier. I haven't added one yet, so it's blank. I'll click edit, and then we should see both options here for each of the discount tiers that I created beforehand. So I'll apply that first one, which was the 10% discount and save it to this customer. Now for every estimate or invoice I add to this customer, it's automatically gonna apply that discount. So let's create an example right here. I'll create an invoice for John Doe, and I'll add a few random items on here. So this one right here is priced at 53.77. That is my standard pricing from the price book or from your item list. But you'll see as soon as I added it, it switched to $45.50 because this customer is on a specific price tier. Now we'll go ahead and save the invoice and they'll be receiving their discount. It works the exact same way for the item price based ones where it was between $0 and $100. And if it's a markup, it would work the exact same way, but instead of discounting it to 45, it would have increased it to a percentage that you set prior. One other feature we would like to show you is within our invoices and item list, not only can you set the price range and tiers per customer, but you can do it per item. So let's say, you have a thousand items, but there's one in particular that you don't want the discount or the markup to apply to. You could go into that individual product from the item list, click edit and scroll down, and you'll see a preview of the pricing as if someone were assigned that price tier. So here you'll see that this wire costs $10. That's how I priced it for each of my customers. And what this is saying is if someone's on sample two price tier, they'll be paying $9.50, or if they're on the other price tier I created called sample discount, they'd only be paying $1.20. Now let's say for sample two, I actually don't want to discount it. I can click on the arrow and I can override the setting that I configured in company settings based on unit cost or unit price. Again, I could set this to be more than what the default is. So in settings, if I said, hey, everyone on this tier gets 10% off, I could say for this product, they actually get 0% off. So I want it to inherit the default price for this product. Or if I want to say they actually get 50% off, I could override that here click save, save the item, 
And now for anyone who's on that sample price tier, if they have this product on one of their estimates, invoices, or price books, it will now be overridden with the configuration that I just set here. Thanks for watching our video on price tiers. If you have any questions, you can check our help center and book a demo with one of our team members.